folks welcome to a beautiful morning at the beach paradise of gokarna in karnataka i'm off for a solo beach trek from belkan beach my stay was at gokarna main beach and i'm taking an auto to the belkan beach which is at the extreme other end reach belkan beach from where we begin the trek belkan is a calm and clean beach This is the least visited one among all the other Gokarna beaches. I go down from the auto here and walking towards the right end. There are few shops on the side. This beach is not that famous and hardly we could see anyone here except a few fishermen and shopkeepers. In this unique beach trek, I covered all the six beaches in a single trek. Trekking starts from the end of this hill. I reach here around 8:30 a.m. We will be trekking to Paradise Beach from here. The trail to Paradise Beach is marked initially. It's an off the beaten path, not a salt to be seen if you're a solo traveler. Though I have trekking for a while now, this beach trekking was something very refreshing and new to me. So I was really excited for this. We'll explain everything that you need to know about how to plan a Gokarna beach trek. Stay tuned. Going forward, the trails are barely visible. The bush might have covered it or it faded away. This gap between Belkan and Paradise Beach is kind of a deserted area. I had a rough idea about this trek path from native people before coming here. So, with the wrong ways, a lot of forwards and backward, a 10 to 15 minutes walk became longer than expected to reach the other end. So, this first gap was like me or meri tanhai. The trek route which I have taken was Belkan Beach to Paradise Beach, then Half Moon Beach, Om Beach, Kudle Beach, and finally Gokarna Main Beach, where my stay was. You can use Google Map also to reach the other end. Once you enter in the bush, signal will be very poor, so it's better to download so you can use it offline. There are lush green hills, narrow cliffs, rocks and boulders in between these beaches. That makes this beach trip an even more interesting one. There was no markings and I was really confused here. I went ahead then came back and finally decided to take the left one. This Gokarna beach trip can be started from either of the extreme ends. That's Gokarna Main Beach or Belkan Beach, or you can choose the famous trek path from Kudle to Paradise or vice versa if you don't want to walk this much. Someone had tied a bottle here to show the right direction. Really thanks for the unknown person for that, because that direction was very much needed. This trek path is like sometimes through narrow road, sometimes in between bushes, and sometimes in open area. The only sound I could hear is my footsteps and birds chirping. I felt so relieved when I finally saw direct sunlight after wandering here and there. Soon I found a steep, narrow downward trail. You need to be little careful a few yards from here to not slip down. In a few places, literally I have to sit and get down on all fours. The view of Paradise Beach from here was awesome. Almost crawling through the bushes. It would be easy if you carry a light backpack. I travel with drinking water, few chocolate bars, camera accessories, and a little money for food.
The only way to reach this beach is either through trekking or through ferry. Now finally crawled up to the magnificent view of Paradise Beach after missing the route so many times. Paradise Beach also known as Full Moon Beach. The view from the cliff towards Paradise Beach is surreal. It's a private beach. I have heard that swimming is not allowed in this beach if you are not staying here. It's a clear beach with white sand and gentle waves and amazing surrounding views with huge rocks and coconut trees in between in the morning. There were no tourists when I reached there. Paradise Beach is a popular camping spot. Along with tents, there are some water activities like deep sea dive, kayaking etc. Water pick up and drop facility also available. I could find only one cafe over here. Got the tent related information from this cafe. I came out from that opposite cliff. The Gokarna beach trek is approximately a 12 km long trek come hike including walking through the beaches. If Gokarna main beach is also included, it will be a little longer. Below is the route for us to proceed further. Now I'm going up to get a better view from here. The best time to do this trek is from October to February. Don't forget to carry hat, drinking water and some liquid cash. Because many places does not accept card or UPA transactions. And sometimes network is not available even if it get accepted. Carry swimwear also if you are planning for that. You get to swim multiple times in a single day. Here, when I was looking for an entry, these doggies went ahead and I just followed them. Then I took a slice of time to make sure that they are actually going in the right direction or I am just blindly following them. Then they also stopped and turned back as if asking, are you not coming with us? And I was like, of course, I am in. You need to be a little careful on the way from Paradise Beach to Half Moon Beach. The path is with sharp edges of rocks and boulders and you will be walking through a narrow edge of the cliff just above the sea. As you go forward, the trail goes gradually upwards and the views you get are amazing.
area, we need to reach the other side. While I was looking at the path ahead, a few people were coming from the opposite side towards Paradise Beach. They started trekking from Kurle Beach. I personally felt that having full length pants would be better to avoid bruises while walking through these areas. From here you need to continue through your right side. Gokarna main beach is a long open beach. Kudle and Om beaches are around 6 km from Gokarna town and can be accessible by both foot and two wheelers. Paradise and Half Moon beach are accessible only by trucking or boat. Under this tree is a good place to take rest. Going forward through the gap between these rocks. Reaching Half Moon Beach. This beach is formed in the shape of a half moon. One side of this beach is covered with thick greenery. It's a good place to relax if it was an evening. I reached here after 10 o'clock. There was no other visitors at that time. Beach was totally empty and I didn't find any shops open here. But I had a chat with a local person over here about the ferry ride. They charge around Rs 300 per person to drop at Om Beach. The ferry ride is available to other beaches also at different rates. It was hot by the time I reached here. So I decided to continue walking through the greenery without stopping to rest. This one also a little long beach like Om Beach. Trail marking was given at the starting point towards Om Beach. It was a good feel to walk under the shade after a long walk through open space. In this walk, we could see fallen trees, sometimes narrow path and other times open area. with greenery, open areas, adventurous narrow routes, sometimes not being able to find any routes, makes this trek an enjoyable one. route from Half Moon Beach to Om Beach is through greenery and then the trail is through the edge of the cliffs 
with the arabian sea just below you you will get a stunning view from there and again the trail will continue through greenery now we are approaching the cliff area It's quite a narrow path but the view is amazing. It was one of the most fabulous experience of this trek. You can click pics and walk slowly enjoying the open sea view from the cliff. The duration of the Gogana beach trek depends on how long your break lasts for swimming, food and relax. It can take anywhere between 4 to 8 hours. In my case, I finished it in 4 and a half hours. After the cliff area, we are again under shade. Along with beaches, Gogana is a popular pilgrimage destination for Hindus. It's known for many temple sites. Gogana is comparatively less crowded than Goa. Gogana means cow's ear. It is believed that Lord Shiva emerged from the ear of a cow. Gogana is located around 32 kilometers away from Kumta and 80 kilometers from Susi. Angola and Kumta are the major towns near Gokarna where many trains have halts and are connected to major cities through bus service. I have travelled from Bengaluru by train. I think there is only one overnight train from Bangalore to Gokarna. Panchaganga Express reached Gokarna Road by morning 7 am. It's a 12 hours journey from Bengaluru. From there you can reach Gokarna town both by bus and auto. I met two more truckers on the way here. They did trekking from Om Beach to Paradise Beach and now they are on their way back. Since we were so busy in talking about other trekking experiences, I ended up taking wrong route at first. Then I followed their way back to Om Beach which they have taken earlier. As I said earlier, this beach trek can be started from either of the extreme ends that's Gokanna Main Beach or Belican Beach. You may start the trek from either Kudlu beach side or Paradise beach side also. From Gokarna main beach, you have to take the usual road to reach at Kudle beach. Many people start their trek either from Paradise beach or Kudlu beach or sometimes they choose short distance in between includes one or two beaches. You can even plan like trek and ferry ride together or one way trek and way back in ferry. If you are depending on ferry ride for return, keep in mind that last ferry is available at around 5.30 to 6.00 pm. There are very few ferries that drop you until Kudle beach. Most ferries only drop you till Om beach and in case you are late, you may still have to hike back towards Kudle beach in the dark, which is not really safe. Here again confusion about the route. And we took the left one. Straight road may or may not take you to Om Beach. Since we have not taken, cannot comment on that. The frequency of ferries from Kudli to Paradise Beach is also less. So inquire and make sure before you head out. If you plan on catching the sunset, plan accordingly. Or you can instead take a ferry to Paradise Beach and start the trek directly from there if you want to avoid Belican Beach then you don't need to worry about catching a ferry or completing one way trip to return. If you start early enough, you will have ample time 
to chill at every single beach. You will also be back in time for the sunset. There is a cliff just before the Om beach that offers a beautiful view of the Om beach. You can see the Om shape of the beach from this point. Om beach is situated around 7 kilometers from the town of Gokarna. It is the most known beach in Gokarna. You can enjoy a beautiful sunset at Om beach. I said bye to my fellow travelers and walked down. It's a long sandy beach. As it was a noon of a weekday, this place was very quiet. You can enjoy your time at the Om beach by swimming, kayaking, playing beach games etc. in the evening. Ferry services are available here to take you to other beaches. This is the second portion of Om Beach. part of this beach has few shacks and less people. As you go forward, you will find steps to get out of this beach onto the road. That's a tourist spot where you can find water sports activities and more people. The famous Namaste Cafe is located here. Beach to Kudle Beach is the easiest of all these hikes. There are a few steps on the left side once you exit the Om Beach which lead you to the road. At the end of these steps, you will find autos and shops. You can either take the straight road or follow the trail to reach Kurle Beach. If you go ahead here, you can visit Sri Uma Maheshwara Temple just before the Kurle Beach. There are cottages also in this line. continued my journey towards Kudle Beach. This route will take you to an open area with bushes around. Here again confused about which path to follow. You can see people crossing once in a while. On the way, you will find white markings showing the road. The directions are meant for people coming from Kudle side. This trail leads to a staircase. Go down and you will reach Kudle beach. close to Goa, Gokarna beach is one of the favorite place for beach lovers.
here you can find plenty of shops, restaurants, stay options and water sports activities. You can see a lot of starfish in the evening and crabs at night. Now heading towards Gogarna main beach. You need to walk through this gap to go up. That will lead to an open road. On the way, there are a couple of private properties and restaurants. At the time, it was already lunch time and I had a traditional lunch from a restaurant called Halfway Home. The ambience of this restaurant was very relaxing, especially after a long walk. This road goes and joins the road before Mahabaleshwar temple and that road is packed with shops. Moving towards Kokarna main beach. Reached Kokarna main beach after a long walk. This was the final destination of my trek. I continued walking towards my stay at the other end of this beach. Gokarna is a beautiful blend of beaches and hills. This trek route can make your time at Gokarna a special and adventurous one. Gokarna is about 480 km from Bengaluru, 60 km from Karwar, 240 km from Mangalore. Gokarna can be reached by buses and cabs from Kumta, Ankola, Karwar and Bhatkal. It can be reached by Kongan Railway on the Mumbai to Mangalore route or Goa to Mangalore route. The railway station called Gokarna Road is 10 km from the town. Hubli Airport in Karnataka has domestic flights and Goa International Airport at Goa and Mangalore International Airports are the other nearest ones to reach at Gokarna. The efforts you put in this trek will be worthy rewarded with the must merit views. It was such a pleasing experience for me. You can choose to see sunset from Kudle or Om or Gokarna beach. I continued my journey towards my stay and rested for a while. Later, went out for watching sunset at Gokarna main beach itself. Altogether, it is an experience to cherish. Stay tuned for more Gokarna videos. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Your feedback and suggestions are really valuable. Please do it in the comment section.